Hashikar Fault Learning Series Point of View Eighth Topic is Fault API So I am in a Hashikar Certification Homepage for Vault Associate If I look at the curriculum right uh, so so far we have learned until this fifth topic sixth topic is a world cli which is we have already covered about the world cli and the next one is a world ui which is already i have covered all as, as well so this is simple ui just go and click it's a self describable right now the next topic is world api this is the most important authenticate to world via curl access world secret via curl so let's try to understand this vault architect vault basic architecture point of view as we know there is a core engine which has a storage secret authentication and policies also as well as a audit now as we know vault can be accessed by using a cli which is vault auth list vault operator init etc and there is another way which is by using a api call so the today's topic is to understand about the api calls which is nothing but be aware of the vault api so we will try to understand that now vault api so vault api means we will access a vault by using a vault cli also same way we will access a vault by using a http api means we will use an http protocol api to interact and read secrets etc how over a tls connection which is over a secured tls connection so that it will be encrypted and it will follow https traffic so of course if i say tls means we need to have a certificates etc right if you wanted to understand about the tls i have created a video and a kubernetes about the tls certificates which is a general go and watch that now vault api point of view there are a few important things which we have to follow if i go to the vault documentation right and there is an api section if i click here right so and there are certain rules we need to follow in order to access the api first one is authentication yes without authenticating you cannot just go and hit a some x y z server you need to authenticate second is a parameter yes not only authentication also you need to pass the parameters and third one is api operation what kind of operation you wanted to do get read or write or delete etc and fourth one is http status code so once you fire this api query you will be responded with an http status code which is a response code now try to understand one by one first one is authentication api authentication so as i said if you wanted to authenticate api you need to pass a client token here the token we have seen already root token and as well as you can create a many in tokens with the attaching a policies etc right in the previous sessions so once you create the token how you will access i have a token ready say let's say a root token i am admin so the syntax is curl hyphen h x vault token and whatever the root token then followed by this is a vault server we know vault server is exposed in 8200 slash v1 is the uh, api which is available any any vault server so here curl hyphen h what exactly this hyphen h so if you go here say curl hyphen hyphen help space all so when i say curl hyphen hyphen all and go back to slide so hyphen h so here capital h okay just try to remember so if you scroll down here so yeah so which is nothing but it's a header just for your info so that means we are passing to this http server as a header capital x hyphen capital v a u l t hyphen capital token colon space whatever the client token you have client token which is root token or whatever the token this is the way you can authenticate to vault server this is the first step or there is an alternate way you can do the same curl hyphen h authorization colon space bearer space the root token this is the way also you can pass and there is other way instead of using hyphen h 
you can pass hyphen hyphen header as well but this is a shortest uh, parameter where you can pass this is the first step second is api parameters say in the vault we have a concept called the namespaces this is only available for vault enterprise or any other features if you use advanced features this parameter will be used as a namespace that how you will do that is also the same first step is vault hyphen h and whatever the other application token second vault namespace namespace one namespace two this namespaces concept is in the next upcoming lectures right in the if you go to the vault uh, right here in the describe explain architecture here is a namespace under vault agent etc it will cover right so this is the way you can pass the parameter right or else you can pass here as well slash v1 slash namespace one slash namespace two slash some secrets or whatever so that's a second way which is parameter and the third one is a api operation what is the operation operation is nothing but actual operation what you wanted to do i wanted to get i wanted to list post put modify i wanted to delete etc so there are various api operations that you can go to the this api vault api documentation you will be able to see all now what is the syntax curl h which is header x vault token equal to the actual token capital x equal to space get which is in the capital letters so what exactly this capital x let's go back to the curl command and just scroll down this is an alphabetical order this is a capital x okay this is a capital x capital x is nothing but hyphen hyphen request so means what kind of the request you are telling this particular vault server by using this token you are telling that i wanted to get this particular secret the similar way and another example for the post say i wanted to update as in create a new secret in the bar secret bar so hyphen d you can pass the json file locally and you pass it right so hyphen d also it has a syntax here so need not to worry or need not to note down here just to do this hyphen data so you are just passing the data to the http this is a basic http commands right uh, we use a devops engineer we use day to day basis right and there is another way if you wanted to pass a inline curl h the bearer token and content type application not json yes i am passing a json and here is a post but rather than passing a file here i am specifying in the form of a json which is in the single quotes curly braces this is a dictionary data name value in the value another dictionary value equal to bar and when you hit enter automatically this data will be posted to the vault server which is same as a vault write command now the next vault operations so this is again with an agent right uh, so how you will do that you will pass a bearer token and here is a request equal to true vault request so why you specify the vault request is here api operation point of view whenever you use a vault agent you need to specify the x vault request this is available in the documentation you can go and read that whenever you deal with the vault agent but the parameter to remember is this one but usually we will specify the vault token and its type and the data and this is the one this is a standard syntax and if your operations is very complex then this command maybe will increase that's a basic idea now once you run this particular command you will end up with the various http response code which vault returns 200 to 500 200 means success 400 means client side 500 means server side as simple as that and whenever a vault api returns an error this will return in the form of this structure which will be in the form of a json now so these all are good but if application developer wanted to use a vault api so there are a bunch of api libraries are available whereas go and ruby are official libraries whereas these are the community built 
ansible c sharp c++ closure elixir erlang java kotlin node js python powershell and everything right so the various ways any developer in the world can use this vault api as simple as that this these are the list is i have taken from the documentation which is here just go and read that next so if you look at the this particular syntax it's a very big syntax it's very hard to remember right sometimes we may need to uh, prone to the errors which if you just forget the hyphen or you give a space then this entire curl command will throw an error so there is uh, the easiest way to auto generate a curl command which is i know i can remember the vault cli command so if i go to the github i have created a vault notes right say vault operator init vault operator unseal or vault secrets list vault secrets put get or if i wanted to write a version or if i wanted to use a dynamic secret or authentication right vault auth list vault token create so i remember this command but this com the whatever this command i am unable to remember it's very complicated right i am not a developer in that case if you have a cli command which is like this you can generate by using this particular parameter it will automatically generate a curl command for you that's a beauty of the vault cli so that how we will see in the demo so the next is demo so in the demo point of view there are two different demos first one is authentication to vault via curl second is access to vault secret via curl first is authentication in fact the uh, our syllabus is also talking about these two right so first this is a my vault server so what i will do is i will just create an a duplicate tab right and right so currently my vault server is restarted and by the way my vault server has been created by using this vagrant which is which will use as a latest uh, ubuntu 22.04 and which uses a vagrant and it provision is simple right and these are the nodes so the first step first step whenever the vault server is restarted we have to vault say if i say vault status initialized equal to true sealed equal to true we need to unseal it so this is initialized say i wanted to know whether it is initialized or not by using a curl command right how you do that right if you go to the vault documentation right here and system backend right in it there is a sys in it right so curl space this is in it so if i copy this right go here right and control k right sorry right so if i paste here right just a simple command right so if i put it in a one liner curl space this is a my vault server and v1 sys in it so if i go to the my you browser say localhost 8200 right it will ask for the unseal key i have unseal keys here right i have noted down three keys i created so if you look at the my documentation right initially if total five keys out of that three keys are mandatory right so that's what the no three out of two right so here when i press enter this is initialized equal to true which is same as the command is vault status vault status initialized this is initialized but sealed equal to true right so this is the way you can access this is a very very first level command so then you wanted to unseal it so how i unseal right so if i wanted to unseal i will use vault right operator unseal and then i will pass this command when i press enter then it will show for unsealing it require a two keys first key i have passed but second key i wanted to use by using a curl how to do that then first of all first starts with a 6l so go to the browser right and just refresh it will ask for the second one right if i refresh here right one by two keys are provided so i'll go here this key is provided now i wanted to provide this key so i'll just copy this right so here vault operator 
operator unseal then paste it the new key then before going that oops my bad so let's do that right so come and control c and then right so here vault operator unseal then paste it right here here there is a command which i have uh, told ids right which is hyphen output curl string right so this is also strange and in fact if you don't remember that also no problem this you do the hyphen h and here if you just scroll up here there is a uh, output curl string so you just copy this right and then clear right and this is the key right so here before the ending the actual command you just put it the place this particular string and press enter you will end up with the this call command which is automatically generated this is a call command right so you just copy right and just put it here right when i do it's unseal right so that's what the it's now you see vault status right so this one say if you wanted to know vault status command as a http api how to do that so vault status again keep it this is a vault status command so you just copy here right curl hyphen h right x vault request equal to true x vault namespace equal to blank x vault so because these are the default values are propagated by the system whereas it's not required so this is a mandatory x vault token so the best practice is rather than noting down so this is the best way whereas it's abstracted right and this is a vault server and v1 sys seal status so and if you don't know about this one this is the best command which will tell you and which will convert your vault commands this kind of vault commands into the http api commands right do that when i do that it is returned so i'll just clear that right and i'll this do this again so this response is a json response but this is not a well formatted so there is a way you have to install a jq right and the same command pipe jq right and single quotes dot dot when you press enter this will result you in a beautiful uh, in the form of a pretty format so type equal to shami initialized equal to true sealed equal to false means it's unsealed already total equal to total number of three and threshold equal to two right and nonce and all version etc so what version i am using etc everything is there and what is my vault cluster just same as a vault status right so right? this is the what the same command so this is the way you can and if i wanted to for now i wanted to log into the world server so how to do that right so vault login this is the way usually i log into the token right say if i go to the my ui and just refresh it right it will ask for the token i know this is a token right ends with the p which i am using since the day one same token right so when i enter this is the word the how i log in but here i wanted to use a http api yes very simple so what is the command i have to use right so hyphen right so the command which is i have shown in the slide which is over here hyphen output hyphen curl hyphen string right so iphone output iphone curl iphone string all small letter so this is the way i can log in to the my vault server by using http api so just copy this command just put it here so need not to write down hyphen h and all this is the smartest way that's what the iphone and what is the, the actual key here is so here you will be always using the vault server slash v1 and under the auth so first thing is to remember is for vault api authentication operations the all the 
API call will be slash v1 dot auth then after that token lookup self so if you go to the documentation right so under the system methods right auth you can able to get what exactly so this is a get command you wanted to get it and you wanted to enable the specific authentication method so we have learned the authentication methods various authentication methods enablement right in the previous session say vault auth enable username password vault auth enable github vault auth enable aws database password whatever there are many right so this is the api call where you can use and enable disable or whatever the all the api operation you can disable as well right so this is the way you can do so when i do that so this will authenticate it same like a vault login but this is not a, a pretty formatted so how to do the pretty formatted do the same thing and pipe just simply type a jq it will give you in the form of a so jq is also very simple to brew install jq for my mac for windows also there is a similar right if you are using a bash right so this is the way you can and from there here you can rest extract say here you wanted to say extract the accessor say right here jq colon dot data right dot i wanted to know accessor just just for the uh, my operation point of so i get it right so this one you can store it into the variable and use it in anywhere ci cd pipeline or whatever right so this is the uh, the basic introduction of how you deal with the now access to world secret via curl this is second one right so if i wanted to secrets so there are a commands right uh, earlier we discussed world secret list world secret list detailed right so if you so just to uh, considering the time i am not typing so world secret list means i have enabled aws right cubby hole database gvr this is a key value right these are all the secrets i created right see if i wanted to read the secret how i read world kv get web ui right so right here world kv get right and gvr splash web ui right then these are the so if i wanted to do the same thing by using a curl command which is a simple again the same technique right right so which we have seen in the previous slides right hyphen output curl string right so hyphen output curl hyphen string so need not to worry need not to go to the documentation open and all so here and there it's there so <clears throat> just copy right and just i wanted to beautify in the form of a java jq so right so it's given me the data right so as simple as that then here single quotes dot and you are reading this information data dot password see i want to know the password so this is my oops i forgot the single quote so one two three right say if i wanted to know the username just type it here username right as simple as that so this is the way you can and if i wanted to say list right vault kv list gvr so i wanted to just know right say if i go to the cli right and i clear right say right here it will list under the gvr dev and web ui both are there so let's go to the ui so this is a gvr this is a key value pair and here i created a web ui their username is a admin password is 123 and if i go back and again go to the dev there is a test user i created and there is another user test to also i created during the previous sessions right so these are the users where you can list so if you wanted to know hyphen output curl hyphen string oops this way doesn't work that's what i wanted to show why because this hyphen output curl string should be should not be at the end this is the way you can get the list so here you see the observe the request right so here is the authentication token and http gvr slash list equal to true so this is also the way you can query string as well the way the api operation support right so and here you just pipe for the jquery 
then it will give you the beautiful list of data keys and you can extract this information and i get i think you get an idea right and if i wanted to delete also the similar way uh, where i can just go and auto generate my secrets right here vault kv delete gvr web ui right so let's let's delete one okay i i don't want to delete the web ui but i wanted to delete the this guy under dev under test2 right gvr dev test2 so what i will do is uh, right delete gvr dev test2 right but i don't want to execute but hyphen curl right so out output curl string right this vault commands are a bit confusing so we just need to make use of it in order to expertise right so, but need not to remember as well so it will output curl string so hyphen output curl and by the way this is not as simple these commands are as simple as like a kubernetes where uh, these are the bit confusing sometimes vault kv vault secret so this is a bit confusing so we strongly we have to depending on the uh, this cli commands if somebody ask in the interview it's very hard to tell if interviewer asking means that's not the correct question he should ask the concept that's what the i feel so anyway this is the delete command where so what exactly this output curl string will do this won't execute anything something like a dry run equal to client thing so see this command and i copy here right and if you observe carefully right hyphen x hyphen x as we have seen this is a in the curl point of view we have seen already right which is a capital x request what kind of a request it is then h is authentication header and this is the way uh, you will get the vault token so that it will internally right and you see this secret point of view vault v1 slash gvr dev test 2 means until here constant constant means the api but gvr dev test 2 this is the way it's deleted right then if i wanted to know the uh, it's a list right so web ui and if you go to the ui and you will be able to see that it's got deleted right and your test 2 is not there right so this is the way you can do and if you wanted to know more about the api server so just go to the api documentation here right say if you wanted to know the token capabilities vault token capabilities right here i have told it capabilities vault token capabilities right if you wanted to know this one then you have to uh, create the command by using this particular one so everything is available say if you wanted to know the auditing or anything host info health or a, a, any kind of lease if you wanted to know about the leases vault lease lookup sys lookup so this is a simple command where you can look up and if you want to if you are dealing with the secrets these are the various say ssh right so if you wanted to deal with ssh this is the way you can this is a better practice to ssh uh, right and commands also which will automatically generate but only the thing is these paths are most important uh, so we should not be confusing on this particular paths so that paths better you try using a hyphen output curl string so that it will automatically generate and then go and do and uh, hit it on the whatever the dev server so that's a what the i recommend and that's it for this particular session point of view in the api documentation wise overview we have gone through client libraries we have gone through and secrets these are the self describable anything and auth methods whatever the auth method you just go and just do it right whatever anything any kind of ssh totp github or anything then auth methods system backend these are the system related operations system seal unseal rotate or these are the all admin related which is advanced if you are a vault admin yeah that's it for this particular session point of view and yeah these are the commands where i have explained right hyphen output curl string so that's it and thank you for this particular session and this is uh, purely if i miss anything please feel free to add comment share subscribe and let me know what you guys think thank you bye bye